when you want to install a drip irrigation system on your piece of land, you will often ask yourself, how many beds can I fit in my piece of land? If you are an experienced farmer, this is not a big deal. But when I was starting out, it was not as obvious. You want to budget. You want to do a budget or a BQ in advance. And of course, estimate the expected production from the project. Hello farmers and welcome to the Kenyan farmer. Today, I want to show you how I quickly estimate the number of beds that I can make in a piece of land. The process is not as complicated and of course we will do some simple maths. Let me start by saying there is more than one way to come up with an estimated number. You can choose what works for you. The first method is the simplest one, I think. Let's imagine you have a piece of land like an acre. I am estimating an acre to be about 400 square meters and the land is a perfect rectangle with sides 100 by 40 meters. Assuming the land slopes from top to bottom, I have decided to make the beds across the land. If you take a cross section of view, it will be like a path, a bed, repeated all the way to the end. For now, let's make a bed to be 1 meter and the path to be half a meter or 50 centimeters. And of course, the length of the whole land is 100 meters. We just keep things simple. huh? Looking at this pattern, the only unit repeating throughout is a path and a bed, isn't it? And as we said earlier, a bed is 1 meter and a path is 50 centimeters. So both have a length of 1.5 meters. I hope you can see that these two make the basic unit that repeats through the pattern. Not the bed alone or the path alone, but both. And as for the total length of 100 meters, I can divide by a single unit, that is 1.5 meters, to get approximately 66 complete units, which of course is 66 beds. Just an estimate. That's simple enough. Another more intuitive approach is by first estimating the percentage of the unit that is utilized by bed alone. By doing this, you get 66.7% of the unit is under bed. Since the pattern is uniform, we assume that this 66.7% of the length is effectively under beds only. The length being 100 meters, we get that 66 meters are under bed, which still translates to 66 beds. Please note that I'm not rounding off, cause if it's not complete, then it doesn't count. Makes sense, huh? The last method you can use, maybe, is for those farmers who like maths and formulas just playing around with numbers. First step, let's indicate cumulative length at the end or edge of every unit. You can do this up to the end if you want, but that takes time and energy, which we don't have for now. We indicate only the first three figures. I will take these figures and see what we can learn from them. And of course, you know these figures can go to a maximum of 100 meters. That is the total length of our farm. These figures form something called arithmetic sequence. We can see the difference between consecutive figures is 1.5. Or we can say we are adding 1.5 on each term to get the next term. Our first term happens to be 1.5 meters in this case. And the last one has to be 100 meters. If you can't remember, you can look up the standard formula used in arithmetic sequence. Tn is the last term in our series. T1 is the first term. N is the number of terms. And it's actually what we want to get. In our case, it's the number of units. And finally, D is the common difference between the terms, which we have realized is 1.5 meters. 
So you just write in the figures in the formula as required. Our aim is to get n, the number of terms. Remember, we make n the subject of the formula to finally get 66 terms. That is 66 units in our case. The same figure we got in the previous examples. Tomato, tomato, same thing. Now, I don't expect most farmers to use this last method unless they are teachers or something. But it shows you there are many ways that a human brain can solve the day-to-day -day challenges. Before I finish the video, I need to explain why this figure may not be practical at the farm level. I mean, the math is not wrong, as far as I know, but from experience, some things may change. You, as a farmer, may decide to leave some road or bigger paths in the middle of the farm to allow for machinery and the like. And so, I will be working with a very modest figure of 60 beds per acre. We have estimated 60 beds of 40 meters length. Okay, what if the land is the same but in landscape layout? You decided the only way to make the beds level is if they run along the farm. I mean, the land may be sloping downwards and you can't do much about that. The layout has to change. But from the other hand, from our previous video on drip irrigation, I did suggest that you should avoid very long beds. A drip line more than 50 meters on a gravity-fed system will always underperform and disappoint. Loss of pressure challenges, remember? We have to keep the drip lines short and so the beds will run along the length but we split at the middle. In fact, you may decide to lay the main lines in the middle for drip lines to run outwards. In this new layout, you end up with two main blocks of 30 beds each side. And as you can tell, the drip lines that you are going to install won't be unreasonably long. I hope you have now an idea of estimating the number of beds in a new project. Sometimes what you calculate may need to be adjusted to fit what is on the ground. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video and God bless you.